Hello, my name is Felix. I'm a student in the Construction Project Management with PIM Master of Science program at Northumbria University. I recently received my grades from the first semester. Unfortunately, I didn't pass one course, so I was sent to refer. At first, I felt sad, a little disappointed. But then I thought, hmm, what do I do in order to pass the mark? So, the idea came up. I will try to explain you the concept of target value design, an integrated project delivery in a very easy way, so you will never forget what this is about. And with this, I will convince my teachers to make me pass the course. Let's talk first about TVD, or target value design. Imagine two people who committed a crime, locked in separate jail cells. They tend not to cooperate even if their cooperation could bring maximum benefits to both of them. Why? Because each one suspects the possibility of being betrayed by the other. However, if a detective interrogates two prisoners together in the same space, they can cooperate, preventing them from betraying each other. The same applies in construction design. What? It is easily found that each designer, architect or engineer does not make the effort to collaborate aggressively in their early alignment when working separate. But when they are co-located in one place, collaboratively produce a design that provides the best value for the owner. Collaboration is one of the most outstanding characteristics of target value design. But why target value? The budget is the target value. The team designs to the budget, instead of the conventional process of estimating the cost of the design and then redesigning to eliminate overruns. So remember, the target cost must never be exceeded. The target budget must never be exceeded. The target budget value must never be exceeded. The target value design must never be exceeded. According to McComber, Howell and Barbero, not the three pandas, but three researchers, target value design broadly has five fundamental components. Setting the target cost for design. Rather than estimate based on a detailed design, design based on a detailed estimate. Work structuring. Rather than evaluate the constructability of a design, design for what is constructible. Collaboration. Rather than design alone and then come together for group reviews and decisions, work together to define the issues and produce decisions, then design to those decisions. Set-based design. Rather than narrow choices to proceed with design, carry solution sets far into the design process. Collocation. Rather than work alone in separate rooms, work in pairs or larger groups face-to-face. -face. Is it all clear about TVD? Nice! Let's proceed with IPD, or Integrated Project Delivery. Okay, if you think TVD is an ideal, well, IPD is the perfect word. IPD collaboratively aligns people, systems and business processes to harness the talents of all participants so they can optimize value for the client, reduce waste and maximize effectiveness through all phases of design, fabrication and construction. Another name for IPD should be Lean Project Delivery. What do we require in order to talk about an integrated project? Collaboration. Yes, collaboration. Early involvement of key team members. Openness and a modicum of trust. Relational contract. Single beam to which all contribute. Continual improvement. And of course, Lean Thinking. What did I tell you? A perfect world. The next two graphics shows how projects has been delivered historically and how integrated projects supposed to be delivered. Let me explain it to you. The yellow part depicts the shared understanding of the project. So in IPD projects, the know-how is shared during all the time from the project concept. Instead, in classic projects, the information is shared only when the constructor comes into play. See the early involvement of all participants in IPD projects. Even the lead constructor is taking part of the project at early stages. When this happens, it is possible to identify how to do it, who do it, and what to do from the very beginning. Not as non-IPD projects, 
when we know how to construct, when we start with drawings and some participants are identified right before the construction stage. This produces a clash when the lead constructor arrives. Now you know why so many claims in the construction sector demanded by the contractors exist. Well, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next referral. <laughs> Just kidding.